also hear about a new proposal for immigration reform from the U.S. Senators of the Gang of Eight. Senator Schumer is one of those senators. The proposal hasn't come up, so we want to take an opportunity to once again voice our concerns, voice our hopes for comprehensive immigration reform. In the USA at the moment, we have approximately 11 million undocumented immigrants living in our country. And for those immigrants, they contribute to this country every day of their lives. We take from them their skills, we take from them their labor, and yet we don't give back to them the rights to belong to the society that they're contributing to, but also the society in which they live in. We need a comprehensive immigration reform, and we don't need it in two years time, we need it now. Yes. We need to move quickly on this issue. We need to provide a legal path towards citizenship. Until we reform our laws, we're continuing to separate families every single day of their lives. If we say we believe in families as a nation, if we believe in family values, then these families have a right to be together. In our scriptures, they say what God has put together, let no one tear apart. But currently our laws are tearing apart every single day in this country families that are crying to be reunited. We need to give them the right to belong together with their families, irregardless of their race, irregardless of their culture, irregardless of their sexual orientation. Our laws are causing pain and we're better than this. We're asking as a people for immigration reform and we want it now. Thank you. As U.S. workers struggle in today's economy, it's clear we can't reclaim the American dream for workers until we eliminate our two-tiered labor force and pass comprehensive reforms that build the strength and unity of all working people. As long as unscrupulous employers have the ability to exploit workers because they lack legal status, the current system will continue to drive down our wages and breed divisions in workplaces and in our communities. We encourage our congressional leaders to fix today's flawed worksite enforcement models by scrubbing the databases such as E-Verify and offering real protections for workers who face discrimination and pri prioritizing crackdowns on employers who break labor laws. This done alongside comprehensive reforms and an effective employment verification system will ensure that every worker is in the system paying taxes and protected by equal labor rights. Thank you. Thank you to the many organizers, especially Louise, and activists that worked together to bring us here today. Let's give us all a round of applause for coming out in this terrible Rochester weather. Yeah. <laughs> Americans across the political spectrum agree that our nation's immigration system is broken. Up to one million undocumented immigrants in the New York State are trapped in a system that makes it impossible to obtain lawful status. Even if they have lived here since they were children, even if they have paid taxes or have children who are themselves American citizens. This is a human rights crisis. In New York and across the US, people are being denied basic civil rights. Immigrant homes are raided. Over 300,000 people are de and children are detained every year, often in inhumane conditions and without medical treatment. And unscrupulous employers prey on undocumented people. When we deprive one vulnerable population of due process and equal protection, we erode the constitutional protections of all Americans. As an immigrant who was born in South Korea, came to America through adoption, I hold the values and promise of the US Constitution close to my heart. I'm proud to be an American, but I'm not proud of the way that America treats my immigrant brothers and sisters. I'm not proud that people are imprisoned, sometimes for years and often in appalling conditions without even a hearing. In many cases, our immigration laws prevent judges from even considering the facts of the case before they uh, sentence people to jail without access to lawyers or their families. I'm not proud that the current immigration system tears families apart. When immigrants are detained, they're often held hundreds of miles away from their spouses, their children, or their parents with no way to contact them. And I'm not proud that there are no legal or binding rules to ensure that immigrants in detention centers receive humane treatment or access to things like basic medical care. This is not what America is about. It's time to make our immigration system consistent with our American values. As a civil liberties activist, I have to add this caveat. Successful reform will reject backdoor attempts to establish a national ID card. 
In the past, prominent lawmakers have proposed requiring all workers, citizens and immigrants, to carry an ID card containing biometric data such as fingerprints. Such a system would endanger our privacy, create a cumbersome bureaucracy, and result in delays and lost job opportunities for both immigrants and citizens. Workable reform will, as others have said, provide a realistic pathway to citizenship. It is impractical and, more importantly, immoral to tear families apart by rounding up and deporting millions of people. We need to restore due process, judicial review, and basic fairness to the immigration system and treat immigrants in our detention centers humanely. These sensible reforms would create an immigration system we can be proud of. One that's consistent with American ideals of justice and fairness, and that would show that we can recognize this simple truth. The immigration strengthens and enriches our community and nation, benefiting all people. Si se puede. Hey everybody, I'm excited right now to see a packet of wonderfully committed people out here today on this beautiful spring day. <laughs> Knowing that, uh, knowing that uh, we're not going to stand here for about five hours, I'm going to be real brief. Um, you know, we know that this sort of movement requires continual and ongoing effort. I'm so excited to see you all here today, but there's a number of things we need to do to continue building a movement for real immigration justice. I'm going to give you a couple of quick next steps. Um, think of these as minimal next steps that you can do to start moving the, the movement forward and that uh, the maximum next steps is to be consistently and constantly involved in this issue on just about every day. Uh, I understand that that's difficult for some folks, but it's necessary. First, we should be bombarding our representatives with phone calls as often as possible, uh, particularly Schumer, but also Gillibrand and Louise Slaughter. Every day. And if you're a congressperson outside of this area, Reed, Maffei, and Collins can surely hear from you. Later today, there will be an email take action uh, targeting these, uh, these leaders on the Metro Justice website. If you go to metrojustice.org, uh, you'll find it there. It's very helpful if you click that and take action, sending them an email uh, about your thoughts. It is considerably more helpful if you pass that on to hundreds of your friends and, and, and community members. Lastly, uh, there will be uh, national demonstrations in DC on both April 8th and 11th. Um, if you are at all interested in that, you need to contact us uh, or, or jump on the, uh, the sign-in sheets going around. We need you to check on that, that you want to go. Um, our ability to send people to this is really going to be based on the, the, uh, the interest that you all show in going. Uh, we want to send people, we want to have lots of people there, uh, but, but it really requires your energy and your activity. Uh, so, so with that, uh, please take some of those next steps and help us continue to build this movement on the day-to-day -day, uh, uh, sort of constant pressure that we need to be creating. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm going to, uh, hello. I'm going to apologize first for my uh, accent. But you know what? This is what makes rich this country, our yeah. cultural diversity. And we are losing the grip here. We forget to embrace others coming to make this country even greater. We had to fight united. I'm here on behalf of the far worker women in the United States. Currently, with this weather, there are several women in Wayne County, Ontario County, Genesee County, dreaming up on trees. Association Policy Committee. The members of NOFA New York, 
who are at least half of them organic farmers, have taken the position that we want to see a humane path to citizenship for the people who are currently in this country doing the hard work on farms. And in the long run, we would like to see a domestic workforce of people who are well paid. If people want a sustainable, organic, healthy supply of food, we're going to have to change the way things are done. In this country, the great big farms are based on the old plantation system, where people work 10, 12 hours a day at back-breaking work, doing the same thing over and over again. We need to change that. We need a system of family-scale farms, producing for local people healthy, fresh food that doesn't create the kind of work that is so backbreaking and destructive for people and, and why our country has depended on a supply of people who are desperate, who come here to work because they've been driven from their farms by the free trade agreements. And NOFA farmers see ourselves as the brothers and sisters of the people who are doing farm work here. And if the situation were different, we might be doing the work in their countries. Against immigration, you crazy Cause your family probably came in from another nation that you have forsaken We, we not too patient with the land and occupations Who occupies Iraq, the Philippines, and the Haitians U.S. built the army bases, stations, and other places While they hating on the people coming here from other nations It's an atrocity how More people don't watch democracy now In the U.S., you get blinded by seeing all the stripes and stars Yet the U.S. is in Hawaiian PR Those who wrote the Constitution came here on British ships